Okay, it doesn't matter convictions. It doesn't matter failed policies. Republican Party stuck with Donald Trump. On Fox News, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, a Democrat, hammered Donald Trump and ridiculed Republicans. He's yours. You've got him. Welcome to it. Trump on True Social, quote, why did Fox News put up Tim Waltz, governor of Minnesota, where I am leading? They make me fight battles that I shouldn't have to fight. During the Trump administration, we were, uh, you know, folks were dying because of COVID being unaddressed. We understand health care with Mayo Clinic there. We also understand that the economy was frozen. We're creating more jobs than we ever have. We're now a top five state for business. We're seeing uh, all kinds of new economic startup, especially around health care and clean energy. Um, so we'll get the opportunity. And look. As of Sunday, it's a new race. The day before Waltz, Fox News interviewed House Democrat Eric Swalwell. Good to have you with us. Thank yeah, you very pleasure. much. Who torpedoed uh, GOP talking like points about the border crisis. The Harris-Biden team, the Biden-Harris team, agreed to the second most conservative's border idea. That's Senator Langford in the Senate. He wanted to surge resources at the border. Uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden agreed to that. And Donald Trump said he'd rather have the issue than the solution. So she's in the solutions business. She'll stay in that business. But what people are really pissed off about in Arizona uh, is that their right uh, to an abortion is at risk. And Donald Trump put the people on the court that said that you could take it all the way down to six weeks and ban it, even with no exceptions. Why does Fox News put on Eric Swalwell, Martha? The total sleazebag congressman from California. Where is this Chinese spy girlfriend? What is wrong with Fox News? It's rhino Paul Ryan's fault. That's a reference to former Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan, who now sits on the Fox board. Look, Trump's not a conservative. He's an authoritarian narcissist. While Eric Swalwell's appearance on Fox clearly angered Trump. Thank you very much course, for coming by, Congressman Thanks, Eric Martha. Swalwell. Minnesota Governor Waltz's Thanks, appearance is reportedly sparking intense Trump rage because Waltz is on the Kamala Harris vice presidential shortlist. Look, I spoke with the vice president. I'm not going to get into exactly what we uh, spoke about, but we have the same values. We believe we can win in the Midwest. I think what I'm most proud of is if you look at those folks you put up there, they're Democratic governors. That's because Democratic states are creating jobs. Democratic states are welcoming. Democratic states are protecting those personal freedoms, those things like reproductive rights, uh, your ability to be able to marry who you wish to marry, those types of things that are basic American values. And so uh, my case on that is I will do what's ever necessary to make sure that those values are front and center. And for Waltz, that includes hitting back at Trump. In response to the Trump true social media screen, Waltz replied on X with, take it from this small town guy. Donald Trump knows nothing about rural America. That's why he's going to lose Minnesota and Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania. It should be clear by now that Governor Waltz is very media savvy, charismatic, and makes for compelling television. His life story is also interesting. Waltz is a former high school teacher, football coach, and command sergeant in the National Guard. And politically, Waltz has led progressives in Minnesota to a string of successes. Governor Waltz helped codify abortion rights, restored voting rights, passed more than a billion dollars in spending on affordable housing, and racked up several strong labor victories. The Minnesota governor also knows how to go on offense. This week, Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance tried to argue the Democratic nomination of Kamala Harris is a result of Democratic establishment figures having carried out a coup. The idea of selecting the Democrat Party's nominee because George Soros and Barack Obama and a couple of elite Democrats got in a smoke-filled room and decided to throw Joe Biden overboard. That is not how it works. You are welcome in the Republican Party where we think we should persuade voters and not lie to voters. Come on in. The water's warm. A key part of Vance's message, at least at the moment, is that Democrats only value the elites and big cities, whereas Republicans, he insists, also care about rural America. Well, on MSNBC, here was the Governor Waltz response. What I know is, is that people like J.D. Vance know nothing about small town America. My town had 400 people in it, 24 kids in my graduating class, 12 were cousins, and he gets it all wrong. It's a not about hate. It's not about collapsing in. The golden rule there is mind your own damn business. Their <laughs> policies are what destroyed rural America. They've divided us. They're in our exam rooms. They're telling us what books to read. And I think what Kamala Harris knows is bringing people together around the shared values, strong public schools, strong labor unions that create the 
middle class, health care that's affordable and accessible. Those are the things. You look what they're talking about. They went right to division. They, they did not give us a plan on health care. Donald Trump talked about infrastructure. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris built bridges, built roads. So I think this is going back to the bread and butter, getting away from this division. We do not like what has happened where we can't even go to Thanksgiving dinner with our uncle because you end up in some weird fight that is unnecessary. <laughs> and, and I think yeah. bringing back people together, well, it's true, these guys are just weird. And, and it is. you know, they're, they're running for He-Man Women Haters Club or something. That's what they go at. That's not what people are interested in. And <laughs> the Republicans are just weird and going for the He-Man Women Haters Club. Governor Waltz also criticized J.D. Vance's past, including the Ohio Republicans' work as a venture capitalist. And there is angst because robber barons like J.D. Vance and Donald Trump gutted the Midwest, told us we didn't do that. They talk about private schools. Where in the heck are you going to find a private school in a town of 400? Those are public schools. Those are great teachers that are out there making a difference and gave us an opportunity to succeed. That angst that J.D. Vance talks about in Hillbilly Elegy, none of my hillbilly cousins went to Yale and none of them went on to be... Uh, adventure capitalists or whatever. It, it's not who people really are. Tim Waltz is in his second term as governor of Minnesota. He's also now the chair of the Democratic Governors Association. Waltz also serves as the co-chair of the Democratic Convention Rules Committee, which means he is right in the middle of the presidential nomination process. Waltz and Kamala Harris are said to get along well, but perhaps even more importantly, the role of a vice presidential candidate in a political campaign is to be an effective attack dog against the other party's presidential candidate. Tim Waltz has a unique on-camera pizzazz and appeal, and he has that sort of stage presence that even Donald Trump would recognize as compelling. And the fact that even Fox News sees the advantage of bringing on Governor Waltz may be the biggest reason that Donald Trump, a Fox News regular, went berserk. By the way, former Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is now blasting some of the leading GOP attack lines against Kamala Harris. Two attacks I've heard Republicans give that are totally stupid and dumb to do is the DEI attack. Mm. Yes, even former Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is calling the Republican attack line stupid and dumb. This DEI, that seems like a petty. Look, I disagree with DEI, but she is the vice president of the United States. She is the former U.S. senator. Th these congressmen that are saying it, they're wrong in their own instance. One Republican congressman is Tim Burchett of Tennessee. Are you suggesting she's D she was a DEI hire? 100%. She was a DEI hire. He said he was going to hire, and then and she didn't. Her record is, is abysmal at best. MSNBC's Joe Scarborough. You know, you've got Republicans being just total idiots. Uh, but I will tell you, it, when, you when, when I look at, at, at the vice president, I'm just looking at a, a, somebody that is a generation younger. But when some Republicans look at her, they see somebody who is black. I think it's just a failure from top to bottom. Uh, I think she was a DEI hire. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Stephen Tutton who wrote, but the racism is deeply held and not for show. It's hard to conceal your true self. Good point. I look forward to reading your comments about Donald Trump exploding at Fox News for putting on Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.